Do I recommend buying this airsoft grenade? No. Four, 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 four,
Loctite and glue it. Now it looks like they did try to glue it from the factory. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, but I used red Loctite and completely, you know, cemented this thing together at this point. You can't get it apart without probably breaking it. Um, but those are one of the, uh, you know, annoying things about this as well. And I did apply a bit of grease here to the threads because this would get seized up as well and it would unthread. So the build quality, I think there's still some room for improvement here. Um, and that's kind of one of the, the annoying factors uh, about this grenade. So another um, thing that I wanna bring up is it's expensive for what it is. Um, and test, looking at some of the other products out there in, in, in the field, something like, you know, your Thunderbee fairly inexpensive to get a hold of. Yeah, the shells will add up over time, the CO2 will add up over time, but you can get one of these for like, I don't know, like 40 bucks for a whole pack and that'll last you a while. Versus, you know, the price tag of 200 plus uh, at the time of filming this video on top of primers, which may or may not be hard to get. I know it's, it's been a little difficult to find some of these primers and this pack right here is like, you know, $12, $11, um, depending on where you're going and, and what's local to you. And shipping these is, you know, to your doorstep, that's a non-starter non as well, because they're hazmat and in, in California, or at least in the United States. And so you're looking at $20 um, just to ship one of these for the hazmat fee. So this can get very expensive very quickly. Um, if it's not, you know, you don't have access to the resources to get this in addition to just the actual cost of the grenade itself. Also, retention is kind of a big one. I bought one of these Deadly Customs. It was on their website, grenade pouches. I will say this, do not buy the Coyote version of this. I have had nothing but problems with thing. this thing. I've tried to modify it. It's just too thin of a Kydex. It doesn't retain the grenade, and you'll end up dropping it. The black version seems to be, you know, pretty good, so do not buy the Coyote version of this. Stick to the black one. In my case, I prefer just, I got so tired of trying to play around with things, I ended up buying an SNS Precision 40 millimeter grenade, single grenade pouch, and so that is not going anywhere. Very low profile, sits on the kit, but that's expensive as well. Like things are starting to pile up and add up. In addition to that, um, one of the major other things that's a real annoyance is double fires, triple fires. You know, if you throw this too hard, what ends up happening is the primers will come out of the cylinder, they'll slam against the housing, and you can get three or four to set off. I mean, if you're if you're really chucking it and you hit a hit hard surface. I mean, I've, I've had issues where three, three of them go off um, and you can't tell without taking this thing apart, inspecting the primers and making sure they're not blown out at the bottom. So that's something that, that, that really, 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 you know, grinds my gears about this grenade is that, yeah, it has a bunch of cylinders, but you can end up misfiring or double firing. You won't know until you have to take this thing apart. So. You know, pros and cons, pros and cons. Another video I want to point you to, uh, go ahead and see the link below and just watch that video on more Woods performance. Um, I primarily play in er areas with concrete and plywood, so that's typically the fields that I play in. If your field is more dirt and wooded and stuff like that and you're interested in one of those, go ahead and check out the link below um, and take a look at that video. So. That's pretty much it though. I mean, if you're okay with all the things that we listed off, um, I'll talk about kind of the, the good things. Obviously, there's there's a reason people are interested in this. There's a reason why this exists um, and why you know people, some people are very happy with this. One of the nice things is if you buy it from them, you can get them custom engraved and look, things get stolen. This, you know, it's a custom marking. Nobody else can replicate this. They can't say, hey, they didn't know. Um, you got your literal name or whatever information, identifying information you want to put on here, and that's not going anywhere. Um, another thing is obviously because it has seven cylinders here, it's super easy to throw, 
pick up, flip over. When it works, <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. I mean, you can go literally from room to room with one grenade and clear out, you know, seven rooms in a row if you really wanted to. Hopefully you're not in that situation, but if you do find yourself in there, and you know you've got the Goldilocks throw, which is which is really the how you would use this thing is you gotta you know not too hard, not too soft. Goldilocks throw. You can get seven shots out of this thing. It's very easy to do so. Also, you know, comparing to some of the other products out there, I mean, one of the more um, reliable impacts that we've used in the past are tremors. Um, but the thing is, they don't make them anymore. So this is available as of 2023 if you're, you're you don't have a tremor already you're kind of screwed if you can't find one on the used market you're kind of screwed so hey if this is the only option for you and you know that's you're looking for an impact grenade well this is all you got and one of the biggest things and the reason why you know i also carry i carry a thunder bee and i carry one of these is because this takes two to three seconds to explode <laughs> Whereas this, as soon as it hits the ground, granted that it works, you know, there's no time to run away. They're not gonna get away from this. They're gonna be out. So that's one of the things. Now I wanna get into, you know, real talk. What exactly, you know, is 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 my review of the, the Quake Grenade here. Do I recommend this to 90% of people? No. Go ahead, get a Thunder Bee. You can modify the shells. Again, they can cook off in two to three seconds. You can make them shorter, you can make them longer. Um, you can get different shells for these things and I mean, they can blow up even sooner. In my opinion, I have never had this not go off and it's always been reliable for me. So no problems with Thunder Bees. If you already have one or two of these on your kit and you're looking to go that extra mile and you just, you, you know, you wanna up your game, look, this is a great solution and that's why I carry it. I carry both of these at the same time. Both of these are ready to go. If this one doesn't go off, I can have a teammate throw another one. If that one doesn't go off, you can do throw another one. I'll just roll a clip here. Good. And hey, if that, if that all fails, well, guess what? This one's going through the room as well. So that's my, you know, that's my two cents for what it's worth and um, kind of what we've seen throwing a bunch of these in, uh, in a CQB environment. And hey, if you find yourself in a similar situation, this might be good for you. But what I would do is, hey, if you don't have your kit dialed, if you don't have everything else set up, focus on that, get this thing last. It's a lot of fun when it works. You know, this should be the last thing on your list, not one of the first things or even in the middle. Uh, I would get everything set up first and then this is kind of the, the extra thing to take your game just a little bit further and make that CQB a little bit easier so you don't have to keep walking back to respawn because you gotta enter and um, you know, 1v1. In the real world, that's suicide you always threw a grenade. So I hope this was helpful in case you, you know, own one of these and you've been having problems. You're kind of wondering why it's not working. If you're interested in one of these, just wanted to shed some more light on the different products that are out there. Uh, we'll continue testing these, might come back and do an update, but we've had a lot of time um, with these almost six months now and a bunch of people throwing them with a bunch of different mixed use cases and um, You know, this is kind of the the aggregation of that information for you guys So until next time guys, I'll see you guys out there field and uh, happy 2023